West Liberty with the ball. A seven point advantage. Whoa, Grossenbacher from Bonifant. Give and go, and two emphatic points. Timeout, Concord. Concord taking a quick timeout. Kent McBride not happy at all with the way that play developed. Grossenbacher hit a couple threes early. He almost has a double-double already. Nine points and seven rebounds for the junior. And a very impressive vertical. I mean, on that replay, he had to be up about three feet there. West Liberty picks up full court, leading by nine now. Largest margin of the game. Reed on a drive, eerily similar to the first basket of the game. He takes those two big dribbles, gets down to the baseline, pulls up for the mid-range jumper. There's Grossenbacher underneath the hoop again, and Kent McBride immediately crosses his arms after sending in a new player. Taylor Smith will check in in just a moment. McBride not happy with the defense on Grossenbacher, and now Grossenbacher commits a foul himself as Hopewell scores it. Yeah, the teams are really starting to go back and forth. On that previous jump shot from the corner, that's really all Brady Arnold could do was get a hand without fouling. The guy made a tough shot. Taylor Smith into the game. Along with Bo Justice, he returns for West Liberty. Brady Arnold going to grab a breather. Hopewell averages a double-double this year. His 10.8 rebounds are second in the conference behind only Tannen McGrew of Wesleyan, who averages 12.7 rebounds per game, which is the best in the nation. Here's a turnover. That was unfortunate there because Bonifant really had a lot of momentum, and I was looking forward to an impressive move or a pull-up jumper there. Just went off his foot. Three turnovers for West Liberty. Concord has given it away three times as well. There's a foul on a jump shot. This is going to be on Bonifant, and it sends Miller to the line. And that's really the one thing you don't want to do as a defender. You never want to foul a jump shooter. Just get a hand and make him make, him, uh, make a, a tough shot. Miller this season, better than 82% at the line, converts the first. Miller up to seven points already for Concord. Just like that, it's back down to five. Sigurd Monifit, a perfect four for four behind the arc. He's also made his only shot inside the arc. He's five for five today, a game high 15 points. Yeah, you can see that Hopewell really has a dilemma. It doesn't look like he's used to guarding a big that can shoot like Bonifant from the outside. Nice box out by Grossenbacher, sealing off Hopewell from the glass. Now Bonifant with it again. He's against Hopewell. This is a little bit of a mismatch. He starts to drive, finds Grossenbacher. Back to Bonifant. Gets Hopewell in the air. Pull up Jay. Good for the senior. That's really good basketball. I like the way they played a two-man game there. And a nice shot fake. You don't see that very often in high school or college ball. Great shot fake. Got past the defender. Reed able to sidestep Justice, who is slightly out of position on the baseline. Lead was 10 points a moment ago. Largest of the game for West Liberty. Now it's back to eight. Lamberti wants to drive. Finger roll is short. Saves it on the baseline all the way out near midcourt where David Dennis retrieves it. Dennis gets his man in the air, score it, and a foul. And a great move by Dennis, but you can see that Hopewell is not able to help until it's too late here. And he just gets it over the extended arm for the, for the basket. David Dennis, a chance to complete a three-point play. 
His stat line against Shepard, one of the best you'll see of a freshman. He had 15 points, 14 rebounds for a point guard, and nine assists. He was one assist away from a triple-double against the Rams on Saturday. Yeah, he's not just a point guard. You know what he is? He's a basketball player. Yeah. Second in the league in assists per game. Also second in the conference in steals per game as Rob Reed hits a three-pointer. And once he gets going, he's tough to slow down. Yeah, because once again there, Kirkbride had great defense. Did all he could do. Kirkbride is shoved on the baseline. This is going to be a foul. A couple of mountain lions in the area. And it's going to be charged to Cam Shannon, his second. Tenth foul on Concord, so Kirk Bride will shoot two in the double bonus. Shannon out just as quickly as he came in after picking up that second foul. Aaron Miller returns to the game. Missed the first one. It should have been two shots. It is. Everyone crashed the boards, which leaves me to believe they were told it was one and one. Usually you see one guy who loses track. Not all six usually forget. You never know, though. <laughs> yeah. You know, normally the referee will put his uh, one finger up or two fingers up, but I didn't notice it either. <laughs> well, it doesn't matter. Kirk Bright can't hit the second free throw either, and Concord comes away with it. Hopewell hands it off to Sanchez, who brings it forward for CU. Illegal screen on Hopewell. Reed popped open, but Hopewell leaned to set that pick. His first foul and a turnover for the Mountain Lions. Looks like the Mountain Lions are going to go into a 2-3 zone here to try to protect themselves from foul trouble. West Liberty already into the double bonus for the rest of the half. Still more than five minutes until intermission. West Liberty with some good zone offense. They get it in, they kick it out, but Grossenbacher can't hit on the feed from Kirkbride. Now Miller races it all the way into the front court. Pass deflected our way, and it'll be Concord basketball. I sort of tried to save you there. Not really. It was a half-hearted effort. I'll admit that. I was going to say, we, we both looked a little slow that time, <laughs> Kyle. <laughs> Well, really, we could just blame it on Crutchfield. He's the one that sidestepped it initially. If he, if he had made a play, it never would have made it to us. Yeah, he was in our way. <laughs> and, and you never know when one of these big guys is going to come lunging over the table either. Yeah. Three-pointer for Sanchez. Cuts it to five. Zach Kirkbride. He doesn't take a lot of threes, but when he does, he is tremendous from that range. He's only attempted 17 all year. That's less than one per game. But he makes that one with ease. Now Reed, just as pretty on the other side. Yeah, I, I really like the way jump shooters can get it off so quick these days. It's almost like they just need a couple of feet and they can get it off. There's another example. Yeah. Sigur Bonifant, three three-pointers in a row on trips down the floor. First Kirkbride for West Lib. Reed answered, and then Bonifant with a quick response for the toppers. Yeah, and he's definitely bounced back from his midseason slump there. Rob Reed off the mark this time. Dennis, though, can't keep it in. Concord will have the ball when we return. Seeger Bonifant has 21 points already. He has not missed. Seven for seven overall, including five triples for him. 21 points. And he has led West Liberty to an eight-point advantage. 4.04 to go in the first on the West Liberty Sports Network. West Liberty in front, 47 to 39. Hilltoppers are nine for 16 from three-point range to begin this game. That's 56%. Concord, certainly not bad. Six for 12, 50%. But right now, not able to keep pace with West Liberty in this hot shooting affair. Well, right now, it's really all about Seeger Bonifant. If you look at his stat line, he's seven for seven from the field, five for five from three points. He has 21 points in the first half. Not to mention he leads the team with four assists as well. He's playing some basketball tonight. Yes, he is. He had a career high eight assists 
against Shepard last Saturday. We saw the highlight of him making the three-pointer on our way to break. Chad Richards, one of our students here at West Liberty, running the replay machine today, doing a great job. All these clips you see throughout the broadcast as Terry Hopewell can't convert out of the timeout. And West Liberty will take over, trying to make this a double-digit margin again. David Dennis tosses it into Brady Arnold, also on the floor. Kirkbride, Bonifant, and Grossenbacher. And Concord is staying in their 2-3 zone. Sanchez and Reed are at the top of that zone. West Liberty moving the ball around the perimeter. Arnold has it poked away. Sanchez tracks it down. A takeaway, though, by David Dennis. And now numbers for West Liberty. It's Grossenbacher. Can't hit it. The ball is loose. Here comes Concord the other way. A three on two. Miller sneaks it through to Sanchez. He has a really nice pass from uh, Miller to Sanchez and an impress impressive finish as well. Dennis tried to go to the Euro step, but it wasn't there as Miller came over with some help defense. Now the ball is loose again. Arnold pokes it away from Sanchez from behind. Dennis retrieves it. Here's Bonifant for three. Good! Seeger Bonifant has hit all eight shots today, six of them from three-point range. 